morning, my name is Missy Delia and this is Primary 5. So can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing just now? We're doing a challenge challenge. The middle one. So is that the meat jump challenge? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm doing the middle one and we have two 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 and we have two
Before we start, who is the author of this novel? Right, Aurora, do you want to share with everybody at home how we organise our check-in when we do Pit and Peak? The Pit and Peak is like this thing, and we sometimes do it. Sometimes do it in the mornings or sometimes in the afternoon, and so everybody writes down what. Um, Everyone knows that they have to share, and if it's right in the bottom, then it's like not so a happy thing. If it's up the top, then it's like it might be a real exciting thing. It might be like a happy thing, and in the middle is just like it's okay, and it's not that exciting, but it's okay. Perfect. That was a good explanation. So everybody gets a post-it and they write down whatever news they want to share, and then they get to stick it on, and they can kind of measure. If it's a fabulous thing, it'll be right at the top of the peak. If it's a kind of middle thing, it's just something to share. And if it's a really sad thing, it's quite negative, it might be down at the bottom with the fish. So can everybody make sure they've got something on their poster? And can you stick it down where you would like it to go on the pit and peak, please? Could you be the reader for me today? Okay, I'm going to get you to choose three to share, okay? You don't have to say the person's name, just the news that's to be shared. Top, a middle and a bottom. Well done. I got scratched by my puppy. Oh. By a puppy. That's not very good. Okay. I'm so tired. My dad was me up. I Do you want help? need to go to bed. Oh, well, I think maybe I wrote that one. No. <laughs> Right, the next one. This one's mine. Got a job at the high school barista. Are you a coffee maker at the high school? Yeah. Nice. Now, if you can make coffee at the high school, you can make coffee for me and Mrs. Morrison. Two thousand twenty-seven, two thousand twenty-eight, two thousand thirty. What number could that be? You think it could be two thousand thirty-six? I agree. I understand that. Why did you think that? If you count up, are you counting up in ones? You're counting back that way, so 29, 28, 27. I like your thinking. Four things there. If you can't do one of them, move on to the next one. That's okay. Do the one you can. So, The Boy Who Grew Dragons by Andy Shepherd is our class novel in primary five and I actually contacted the author uh, before we came back to school and she sent this lovely letter with lots of lovely questions for the children to kind of spark their interest and to get them engaged with the novel. We're currently on chapter two, about to move on to chapter three and if you want to keep up online, Andy Shepherd actually reads chapters of our novel on YouTube, you just type in The Boy Who Grew Dragons, Andy Shepherd, and what chapter you want to read.